my friends! My name's Holly Adams, and we're going to be exploring parts of the Johnson Art Museum together. We're going to use our bodies, and we're going to use our imaginations. So, put your imagination hat on, and let's go in. Here we are inside the Herbert F. Johnson Art Museum. Do you have a little blanket or a towel that you could use for our art adventure today? You can pause the video to go get one or ask a grown-up to get one for you. It's okay, you won't need it right away. Today, we are going to meet another interesting, wonderful, unusual piece of art. The Samurai Armor. That's two big words. Samurai armor. Let's figure it out. What is armor? Armor is a covering that keeps you safe, like this ladybug. See how the ladybug has a shell on the outside? That keeps the ladybug safe. Many living things have an armor that they keep with them. Here's my armor. It's really my blanket, but I'm gonna pretend that it's my shell. I'm gonna actually use it for lots of kinds of armor. I'm gonna pretend to be a ladybug. There we go. Do I look like a ladybug? And then they go They don't say buzz though, do they? Other animals have armor too like turtles and tortoises. The turtle's shell covers its back, but there's also a part of the shell that covers the front to keep the turtle safe in the front. Let me make my armor on the front. There we go. And the turtle's armor, its shell, also keeps its head safe. How is that possible? It doesn't have a shell on its head. Do you know? <laughs> I bet you do. It does this. And pulls its head into its shell. I wonder what it sees when it's inside the shell. I don't know, but isn't it fun to pretend? We could spend a whole time pretending what we see inside the shell. Sometimes people have to put an armor on because we don't have a shell. Like this knight. This is a picture of a knight a long time ago. And you can see that the armor is like a shell. There's some on the front of his body and there's some on the back of his body. And he has a head covering because he probably would fall off his horse if he had to go into his armor like this. And you see how the armor goes over the head? And then look, there's even armor on the horse. Pretty cool. Here's the armor we're meeting today. That's our samurai armor. A samurai, there's that word, is a knight, but in Japan. Notice how the bottom part of the samurai's armor protects the legs. Do you see how that's made of different pieces? Almost like feathers. It's not all one piece. The turtle his armor or her armor is all one piece in the front and all one piece in the back. But our samurai's armor is made like separate pieces, almost like feathers on the legs. And then look, there's another piece that goes around the middle and you can see how they're attached with pieces of leather. Why do you think that those are separate pieces and not like a turtle where it's all one. Well, if you think of 
my armor like it was hard, like it couldn't move, like a turtle shell. And I had to walk. Oh! <laughs> I would fall over. But because it can move, the samurai could pick their legs up and walk around and bend over and actually sit on their horse if they were riding a horse. They wouldn't be able to sit down even if it was all one piece, like a turtle. Let's look at the samurai armor again. See how shiny it is? The shininess is made from a boiled plant juice. The shiny protective part that they painted on that was made of plant juice was so strong that bugs couldn't even ruin it and water couldn't even ruin it. That boiled plant juice was like armor for the armor. So amazing. <gasps> he has a face covering. Remember how we said armor is something that protects a living thing. So the face is kept safe and the head is kept safe. But what else do you notice about this head and face armor? Do you see what I see? A mustache. Why do you think that a mask, well, I just called it a mask because it reminds me of a mask because it covers the face and it has like a kind of a scary expression, right? Why do you think that the armor for the face would have a mustache and maybe a scary expression? Well, the samurai's job was to protect people so they had to wear the protection because they were keeping all of the other people who didn't have an armor safe. So they had to sometimes wear a scary face armor to scare away whatever it was that they were keeping the people safe from. Maybe it was a tiger, maybe it was another samurai, who knows? And look, oh, it's got eyebrows, and then the top part has horns. Let's pretend to make our faces into a scary armor mask and make our hair crazy and tiger intimidating. Oh, here we go. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna put mine up. There's my horns. <laughs> and I'm gonna put on my samurai armor put it across my front and across my back. We're gonna pretend to be samurais. Okay. Oh, and I have to put on a scary mask. I'm gonna pretend. So I'm gonna take this scary mask here. That's not scary. Okay, ready? How about I just make myself scary? And I'm gonna have to pretend I have a mustache. Maybe I could have a piece of my hair be my mustache. Now I'm gonna walk scary. <laughs> I'm not sure that that armor and my armor look very much alike, but that's okay. That's why we're using our imaginations. I have something else to tell you about this armor. It was not worn to do actual protecting. This particular armor looked like the I'm saving the day armor, but this particular armor was for parties and special occasions, like when important people came to visit and you had to put on your very best armor and not the armor that was all scruffed up from doing the protecting. That's something we could pretend, right? So you can pretend to be a samurai and have a party, just like whoever wore this armor did. That's our art adventure for today. I'm so glad that you joined me and I hope you have fun 
getting a pretend armor and designing your, your pretend scary mask. Maybe you could make a mustache out of paper and tape it on. Maybe you could get a hat and put it on your head or make your hair pretend scary and then go to a party. Maybe you can make your, bring your stuffed animal friends and have a tea party, you and your samurai self. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time on Art Adventures.